I'm hoping this guy's a bot. If he isn't, fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sad. Is he here by any chance? No, he's not in the group. Oh, the bot's over there. No, I just found the bot. Don't you fucking dare. Bro, if this guy kills me, I'm actually gonna be so upset. Die, bitch. Sit, motherfucker. Watch your profanity. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. All right, let's go find the bot. LMS is overrun with the best, most advanced PvP bot I've seen yet. Mm, LMS bots, eh? Let's go kill them. Mr. Sir Pugger is correct. LMS bots have been plaguing the game for quite a while now. If you have no idea what LMS is, that's completely fine. It's basically just a PvP minigame that you can get rewards from, if I can remember where it is. Nope, that's not it. Bro, I've done more LMS games than like any other fucking person here. I, oh, there it is. Holy shit, 7,000 points. I should probably start spending them, hey? Yeah, anyway, so this shop right here is the reason why there are so many LMS bots. They're basically just ranking up points, that way they can buy these sorts of items, then they sell it to the GE for a profit, and ultimately end up real well trading it. Standard bot shit, really. Now, the goal of today's video is to find as many of these bots as I possibly can, showcase what they do and how they do it, and also teach you guys how to beat them yourselves. But first, introducing today's sponsor, Mech Arena. Now, Mech Arena is a player versus player shooting game that's casual and fun for everyone. The maps are easy and clean to look at, the mechs come very sleek with various skins that you can obtain throughout the game. Now Macarena is a very bright game which runs smoothly and looks good on any device. And as you know I love PvP games and with Macarena I can invite anyone to play with me, even you. Now I've been pretty much playing this game non-stop lately as it's super addictive. At the moment my goal is to unlock all of these awesome looking mechs and skins. These are some of the skins that you can get throughout the game and you can really create your own cool unique style when you start to unlock more. Now these are some of the mechs of the game. This one is called Redox and it is probably my favourite one as he is a very strong attacker. Brick House is one of my favorite tanks and Zephyr is definitely my favorite support mech. Now here are all the mechs that I have personally collected so far. My Paragon with auto cannons, my Juggernaut with a plasma and an auto cannon. This is probably my favorite weapon combination so far as they have different reload speed times and they can pretty much keep shooting non-stop. And this is my Lancer with an RPG and an auto cannon. Now Mech Arena just launched globally and are running a huge celebration event in game. If you start playing between August 9th and August 19th, you can receive some free welcoming gifts and be in some amazing events so you don't want to miss out. Mech Arena is completely free to play on Android or iOS. You can use my personal link in description to get a black carbon skin, 300 A coins and 50,000 credits to help kickstart your game. And if you're quick and you add me to your friends list, my in-game name is Panic and we can play some matches together. So don't wait around, go download it right now. The link is in the description down below. And then a level 16, and all of these guys have weird spam names. Look at this guy spam clicking me. He just got a kill. But he's spam clicking me. Now look at his overhead. If I change to crossbow, range. Back to this, mage. Put a whip out, a few ticks later. You see that? Now watch this, I'm gonna one tick every single time. He's gonna flick to pray melee for a little bit. And he's gonna turn it off again. Every single time. So all I really have to do is camp the staff, then one tick, just like this. And see how his range prey only turns on for one tick? Because I'm only wielding the crossbow for one tick. Now the way to beat these is simply one tick every single time, which is a lot harder than it seems. So that's pretty much the only way to beat them. And here just whip. Under. Whip. Under. I'm trying to pray the correct thing as well without entity hydra, it is difficult. I want to mole him. And this way you're going to hit him off prayer every single time. This guy is literally trying to spam click me, or this guy. Yeah, because they're both bots. These bots actually seem pretty average. Like, as you can see, they're switching quite slowly. They're not really attacking on every tick. It looks like they're programmed to act like a noob. So then they're like undetectable. That sort of makes sense. Now there are much better bots out there. I'm hoping that I run into one of them. I don't think I'm gonna run into it this game because I didn't see any level threes walk in, but we'll see. This guy, <laughs> this guy thinks I'm a bot. Let's do some stuff that makes it look like I'm a bot. Jagex, please don't ban me, I'm not a bot, I promise. Oh, so laggy. If I do let's have a look, any level 3s? A bunch of level 20s and level 16s. And if we look out here, here's a level 3. It's probably a bot. There's another level three here just sitting by the reward chest and it's been there for quite a while. So maybe this is broken. I'm not too sure.
I don't think so, bro. Not in my LMS game. You're gonna come first or second? It's gonna be legitimate. Goodbye, bro. Mr. I ate zombies. Interesting name, bro. So this is the same as the other bot before. So it's not one of the really powerful ones, but it's still quite annoying, especially if you're new to niching. So real quick, if you're new, what you want to do is freeze him, then walk under them, and simply try and one tick a weapon over and over, and pray the correct thing. That's pretty much all there is to it. Good fight. Any good upgrades? Nope. And it looks like these bots don't actually upgrade themselves, which is unusual. We have a truce with this boy. We're gonna find and destroy all the bots. Oh. What the shit? This, this guy just rushed me. I see how it is. No mercy then. One, now he says one sec. <laughs> it's too late, bro. Far too late. Ah, uh, good fight, bro. Shouldn't have aged me. And it looks like the remaining players are both not bots, so our search continues. Is this guy a bot? Let's have a look. Let's flash our weapons a bit. Oh, would you look at that? Perfectly synchronized. GG. Oh, this guy's one ticking. Unexpected. Hit. Easy prediction. Okay, I'm hoping this guy, Mr. Stark Marvel, is a bot and we run into him. Bro, no way this guy's gonna beat me because RNG, the one game that I find a bot. Oh my. If you don't know how the track works, I should have won by 158, but I'm only up 15. I'm a Jagex, just finish it. Thank you. But yeah, the amount of RNG in this game is. <laughs> It's interesting. It's almost like you're playing Call of Duty. You pop them in the head and the bullet rebounds and hits you for, what, <laughs> for no reason. Oh, we got, yo, this is one of the good bots. The one tick bots. I expected like a level three, but uh, this will do. Okay, so look how his prayer changes every one tick. So if I one tick that, see? It's like a tick quicker than the other bots. And the switches are much more cleaner, less mistakes. Look at this thing, it's doing four ways like it's nothing. <laughs> GG, sir. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys are curious what this flashing thing is, by the way, I'll just quickly show you. Just go into the plugin hub down here, search for visual metronome, and then just install that. And all this does is help me time ticks on really laggy worlds such as World 390. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Yes, I'm real.